This is Channel 2 News, coverage you can count on. My hope is that it will end up being a bipartisan uh, choice. U.S. Senator Dean Heller says he expects a Supreme Court nominee who Republicans and Democrats can get behind, but the two parties are pretty far apart on some other issues. Campaign 2018 tops Channel 2 News at 5.30. Good evening once again. I'm Kristen Remington. Landon is off this week. Thanks for keeping it here with us. Senator Heller is back in Nevada for the 4th of July break, and he has a lot to talk about. Paul Nelson sat down with the senator to get his take on several issues, including immigration and the Supreme Court. Paul? Yeah, Kristen, the balance of the Supreme Court could shift with the retirement of Justice Anthony Kennedy. Heller is hoping for a nominee that both parties will be able to support, but there's a lot of other discussions happening, especially during an election year. We're only a year and a half into Donald Trump's presidency, and he's already in the process of selecting his second Supreme Court nominee, someone who could affect the Second Amendment or abortion laws. You want someone who defends the Constitution and calls balls and strikes, strikes uh, when it's necessary and uh, tries not to uh, legislate from the bench. Um, if they do that, uh, I'm all supportive. Immigration remains in the forefront for many Americans, especially when it comes to separating families who cross the border illegally. Heller says he's working on ending that policy. There's about a dozen of us or so send a letter to the president. Hey, hey, keep these families together. Um, frankly, it's called Keep the Families Together Act. And uh, uh, we'll continue to push that agenda down the road. Some are even calling to abolish immigration and customs enforcement. Yeah, they're going way too far if they think they want to eliminate ICE and, and the protections that we have here in this country. President Trump is planning a summit with Russian President Vladimir Putin this month, and Heller says he hopes the meeting can help solve some problems and prevent future conflicts. The fact the president is talking with the Russian leader, I have no problems with that. I don't trust Putin, let's be very clear. I don't trust this guy, but I also believe the dialogue ought to be there. Heller says the tax and bank reforms are working for Nevada. He credits them in part for our unemployment rate of 4.8 percent and 40,000 more jobs here than a year ago. Our uh, Unemployment now is the lowest uh, in the last 10 years here in the state of Nevada and for the first time in 10 years. If you want a job, you can have one. There are more job openings in Nevada right now than there are people looking for jobs. And that's great news. And that includes the growing tech industry. Heller took a tour of Flirty today to see what they're doing with drone delivery technology, especially in the medical field. As you know, he's running against Congresswoman Jackie Rosen to keep his Senate seat. We'll be sitting down to talk to her on Friday. Covering campaign 2018 live in the newsroom, Paul Nelson, Channel 2 News.